Hey there Parkinson's Warriors. In this video we're going to talk about the use of nicotine to help control dyskinesias. Now nicotine is an interesting topic because uh, it has a bad rep because of its association with cigarettes uh, and when mixed with tobacco uh, it could be really dangerous for us to inhale it. Uh, causes lung disease, all these different ailments that we don't want to add on top of uh, our Parkinson's. So I would recommend do not smoke if you smoke, you know, quit, try quit smoking and do not use uh, tobacco products. What I'm talking about here is pure nicotine. So nicotine using a vape. Uh, so the vape I use is just a small little vape here. I can show you the box as well. This little vape. It costs about 20 euro um, and it's uh, really inexpensive. It has three settings. You buy the juice for it, nicotine juice. And then uh, you put that juice inside, and then when you turn it on, you can you know you can uh, uh, get get pure vapor coming out of there. So when when this little machine burns the juice, uh, it's pure vapor. It's not any kind of weird chemicals. There's no uh, arsenic or um, any kind of things like cigarettes have. So just be aware of that. We're not talking about smoking cigarettes. We're not talking about smoking tobacco. This is pure nicotine. What comes out of here is vapor. Okay. Um, now, there are different uh, sizes of, of nicotine you can buy, uh, or I should say strengths. I started with a 3 milligram juice, uh, but then I noticed that my dyskinesia were, work, were going away to some degree, but they were coming back or they weren't going away as fast as I would like, so I upped it and I went all the way to the maximum, which is 18 milligrams. So 18 milligrams of pure nicotine juice uh, is in here. And what I've noticed is that when I start getting dyskinesia from my carbidopa levodopa, uh, I'm able to take a few puffs, maybe three, four big puffs of this, and within about five to ten minutes, my dyskinesia are gone. Uh, and it's a really big deal for me because I have a really uh, weird dyskinesia in my left leg where uh, it kind of kicks up, kind of like a Monty Python uh, uh, style. And it's not fun. It's not you know, useful for me when I'm trying to walk. But uh, that's why I always carry the vape with me. And whenever I have the dyskinesia coming on, I'll take a few whiffs, sit down for five minutes, and uh, usually they go away. Not sure it helps with anything else for Parkinson's, so just be aware of that. Uh, also know that the nicotine here, although it's not mixing with a cigarette, nicotine is still an addictive substance. So uh, there is a chance of addiction, but um, this is a pure nicotine product and uh, there's no other kind of chemicals or weird additives to this so some uh, juices do have weird additives to them but this does not uh, so if you can find a clean kind of like an organic kind of uh, nicotine juice um, uh, it will definitely be safer and have a more enjoyable experience and you will be able to uh, quell your dyskinesia for a bit so uh, there's a lot more research that needs to be done in this area I know a few people in Seattle that are undertaking this study right now um, but they're all small scale. We need really you know, large scale studies to be done. And uh, doctors are really reluctant because they hear nicotine, they think tobacco, they hear, they hear cigarettes, uh, they, they hear lung cancer. So uh, there is a difference between nicotine and you know smoking a cigarette. So uh, it's our job to help educate our doctors, let them know that it is a safe thing to do. Um, but uh, yeah, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below if you like this video. Please hit the thumbs up button and uh, subscribe to the channel because there will be a lot more of these videos. And until next time, uh, stay strong, keep fighting, and don't ever give up.